Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Terrible Terran series, where we are in the middle of an all-out colony blitz to basically fertilize the center of the galaxy here. There's there's nothing here. It's a very fertile ground, so maybe it doesn't need to be fertilized because it's already quite ready for us. But it looks like we have some upgrades that are ready, so let's upgrade this. If we can hit the button. Come on now. What's, what's happening here? Having trouble loading stuff on time. Upgrade custom blueprint, yes. And hey, we have battleships now. We don't have them, but we, we have the capability of building them. Matter of fact, I think Our I have one building somewhere. All right, let's go to the technology tree. Why is everything so slow to load? I guess it's just later in the game, so it's a little bit slower. I just booted up the game for this episode, so it's just loading everything for the first time. All right. Choose production. Yeah, it's taking a second here. I don't like this. This is new for me. This is... I've never noticed this much chop. It should clear up as the episode goes on. Alright, anyway. Let me stop pointing to it. I'm going to build a space elevator here. And then more colony ships. <laughs> Good God, more colony ships. Alright. This scout is pretty much done. Fly to the Fascia system and see what's going on there, please. Fleet needs orders. I have a new colony ship. Where do I not have a colony ship already on its way? All right, let's go ahead and colonize the... Looks like Yer 2 is the planet to go there, and then we'll be ready to colonize Virgil after that. This scout is also... I'm going to go ahead and scout out Orion. We know that Orion is there, but we haven't actually scanned the planet, but we will be able to. It doesn't really make a, a difference. There's really no point in my doing this, to be completely frank, but it'll put me in range of that anomaly, at least. Let's move all of our ships. Colony ship arrived at Case Prime. Excellent! Excellent! Colonize it. So this is our gateway system to the rest of the systems that we just unlocked. I'm very excited about that. This is the first system we have to own in order to branch out into the other ones. Now, I can still branch out into the other ones. It's not like I have to capture them in order, but I want my systems to be connected to one another. It's an aesthetic as well as a strategic thing. Okay. First of all, let's get this guy in production. We've had to do this pretty routinely. So you guys that have been watching since the beginning of the series, you know what I'm up to. Well, let's go ahead and build the crust prospecting first, followed by the automated factory, followed by the hydroponic farm, followed by the biospheres, followed by the government support facility, and we'll leave it at that. I'll go ahead and buy the crust prospecting so it is finished a little sooner. It says there's a threatening fleet detected, although I didn't look at what fleet that was, so hopefully that alert will pop up again. Threatening fleet detected. Yes. Oh, wait. GNN. GNN's got to do its thing first. Galactic Interesting. The Silicoid and the Darlock, who are neighbors to my galactic north east. Thank you, Dwight Schultz. All right. So threatening fleets, where? All right. So that's not really a threatening fleet. That's one cruiser. And then that's not really a threatening fleet, that's one destroyer. So we have really neutered the Bulrathi. They don't have that many ships, and they ha had kind of an invasion force here that tried to stack up against these guys, and it did not go well for them. One of the next things I'm going to do, in fact, is go ahead and recolonize the track system, because there's not much they can do about it at this point. We offer this freely with one hand, but keep the other ready to take it back. Or worse. Uh, no. <laughs> We're not going to play games with with the Darlock. That's not going to be. That's not going to be in the cards. Welcome to GNN. Terran Comet ships have recently visited the legendary Orion system. <laughs> Cut the broadcast. All right, let's go ahead and knock out these guys real quick. I think it's just a scout, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Goodbye. All right, so this spy on Crux 4, I'm just going to give him a counter-espionage mission. We haven't had too much luck with our spies. Need to train them up a little more before I can have more successful missions. All right, we're going to send this scout in this direction. I'm expecting to run into another race soon, but so far I haven't detected one. All right, colony ships are all on their way. I've got so many colony ships, both being built and traveling to different systems. It's a little bit nuts, but I love it. All right. 
fleet needs orders, specifically this one. We're going to go ahead and have you just guard that point because I don't think anyone's going to come to stop you anytime soon. And actually, speaking of that, well, no. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and start building a... Um, I'm going to get my space factory to go here and build a, uh, a, a uh, military installation. Military outpost, that thing. Let's move all of our ships. Colony ship has arrived at Mezo Prime. Excellent! That is a big Gaia planet. He wants it. <laughs> sometimes I want to bust out my golem, and then sometimes I don't, and this is one of those times where I don't. Keep paying attention to the channel. You'll hear it at some point. I've done it at one point in the past. I couldn't tell you where it was, but it's happened. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put this guy in production. This is a massive freaking planet. This is a huge find. So we're going to do the automated factory first, followed by hydroponic farm, followed by biospheres, followed by government support, followed by colonial revenue. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. All right. Lots of space elevators were just completed, so ships on those planets will build much faster, which is good news. What was just blown up? I don't know what was just blown up, but... Looks like they are starting to build up ships again, despite the fact that they don't have a lot of territory. So, pretty soon... Okay, so this... Wow, Fascia Prime is also an amazing system! What the crap?! Two amazing planets. A t it's it's poor in minerals, but it has gold, so that'll make up for it. It's Terran with 18 population slots, and a Gaia planet with 16 population slots, and it's abundant. What the hell? There weren't supposed to be that many inhabitable planets. Maybe my impression of what young universes are supposed to be, young galaxies, whatever, was off. All right, Shader Prime has reached the maximum population limit. Speaking of that, let me fly around real quick here and make sure that I have my guys evenly distributed everywhere that I want them. That's at the maximum population. That's at the maximum population. That is not... Yeah, let's redistribute that. So Gresna 2 is in the middle of a cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and redistribute him. Okay, that looks like it. Next turn. Colony ships flying everywhere. Threatening fleet detected. Where? It's two destroyers. Not really threatening. At all. Sadakon Prime. I'm going to need to keep an eye on that fleet that's guarding the, the system next to the Bulrothi, though. I definitely know that. I'm aware that I'm pushing my luck. I'm tempted to go ahead and terraform Sadakon Prime, make it a better planet. But you know what? I'm going to do a colony ship first. We, we need to keep cranking out colony ships as rapidly as possible. Oh, good! These destroyers are finished. That's perfect timing. I forgot I had them building at all. It's wonderful news. All right, so the Pavo system has a pretty nice 11-slot planet in it. Let's, in, let's investigate Wazna, which is right next to Fontos, which is one of the systems we're going to try and colonize. Let's move all of our ships. No colony ships arrived just yet. They're still traveling, which is fine. Crap! I did not see this happening. All right, so they're flying in from the opposite direction, which is not good. So, well, we're just going to auto-resolve this. Can you at least destroy one of their ships? No, of course not. All right, so they just destroyed my military outpost and are now flying into the Crux system. So my destroyers are going to take another turn to reach these guys. So we're going to fly in and do some damage to them in retaliation for what they're doing. Colony ship completed at Grosna 4. That's fine. Let's go ahead and move and see if any colony ships arrive at their destination. Nope. Our engineers have made Choose research. What can I do now? could miniaturize my torpedoes. Ooh, battle stations. Definitely. All right, we're going to go ahead and research that. And then over here, it looks like we have some additional building to do. Colony ship will just take three turns. That's a hell yes. 
Ensis Prime is also uh, kind of ready to put out colony ships, but not really. Let's do Robo Miners there and some fungal farms as well, because their their population is not fleshed out just yet. They're only about half full, four out of seven, a little over half full. Avalar Prime, you need a starbase sooner than later because the Bolrathi are coming to pay a visit. All right, now here is one of my colony ships. I'm going to go ahead and colonize Tracks 3. All right, this guy has been waiting here for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and build a military outpost. Looks like I can also build jump gates. I really need more space factories right now. I need a bunch more, to be completely honest. Because I only have pretty much the one. And I think there's another one somewhere, right? Don't I have another one camping out? All right, here they are. So they're going to start bombing stuff. Crux 2 is in trouble. Wow. Okay, all the population on, truck, on Crux 2 is gone. The colony survived by one building. But we just got annihilated on Crux 2. That's not good. Let's go ahead and move all of our colony ships. We have several in the case system. All right, so now let's have a look here. Not, not all of these ships can move yet, so I'm going to have them just guard for a bit. Actually, we'll have them unguard. <laughs> No pun intended, but we will have them skip the turn. And then they'll all move together and we'll start hitting the Bulrathi back. Because we can't really defend Crux. Um, but it looks like they've flown... They said they've ended a blockade, but they haven't ended it. They're still in range of it. Maybe just because there's no population left, it doesn't count as a blockade anymore. All right, we're going to get that colony ship. All right, this colony ship looks like it was just flying here. Don't know why. So we're going to go ahead and colonize... Uh, which world should we colonize? These are both really good. Let's colonize the Gaia world first. Fleet needs orders. Oh yes, this scout. Uh, fly here. See what's in that system. Fleet needs orders. Another colony ship. We're going to fly this one to Tracks 2. I need to build up my military a little bit, don't I? I wasn't expecting the uh, the Bulrathi to come after me this hard. I thought I really, really did more damage to them than I did, but they've... Oh, we're going to kill that Bulrathi spy. Yeah, they've, they've managed to come through with a bit more force than I expected. So, let's repay the favor a little bit, shall we? We're going to close in on this Bulrathi military outpost first. We have one frigate. This is the frigate that survived by a miracle a couple of episodes back, but two cruisers. There they are. And, and our five destroyers that we just finished building. And I think another destroyer as well that was already in the fleet. Maybe another couple of destroyers. I wasn't looking at the ship list beforehand. But uh, just another one destroyer. All right, let's unpause. You guys match speeds, please. Kill that thing. blew the crap out of that asteroid. Point defense should take care of those. Yep. Point defense also took care of all missiles, though, so... Okay, here comes the real salvo. The great thing about these torpedoes is they miss ships easily, but they do not miss stations. Shields are still up. Come on, guys. You can be faster than this. Point defense is doing a great job. Up oh, there goes the station already. Holy crap, that was fast. All right, so we destroyed their outpost. And now we can start hitting their ships in this system. They have actually a pretty formidable fleet right here, but it's not powerful compared to ours. Again, we are much more advanced than the Bulrathi, so we can start hitting them very hard, and there's not much they can do about it. We're going to win a bunch of overwhelming victories. Let's go to the next turn, see what they do in response to my arrival in the system. They might jump me, but they might not. We'll see. All right, let's move our ships. Good. A couple of colony ships arrived. Let's pay a visit to them. There's one. This is a radiated planet. You've seen that animation already. Let's do... Uh... Oh, nice. Good production speeds. Automated factory. Hydroponic farm. Biospheres, you know the drill. 
government support, colonial revenue. Grosna 4, you need to build another colony ship because it's only going to take you two turns. Grosna 4 is just an insanely good world. Crux 4 ideally needs to build something that can start helping to defend the Crux system. So I guess I'll go ahead and start building a cruiser here. Wouldn't be the worst idea. It's not likely to finish building. Oh, this cruiser is actually already built. So I could fly in and destroy this fleet right now. Yeah, it's cruiser on cruiser. So we'll do that. Let's take command of this battle. Let's see what happens when it's just one cruiser of ours versus one cruiser of theirs. So you can see what I'm talking about when you when we were talking about the power difference. So here's our former colony in the background that they're orbiting. Love the graphics in this game. Just looks fantastic. I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty. And to think this is an early access game, they're still doing work on a lot of the mechanics, and I just, I just have such high hopes for this to be an excellent title at release and after release with additional patches. All right, so there's some torpedoes. Looks like they're going to hit, maybe. Oh, wait, nope, yep. Ah, damn, good dodge. He's dodging again, yep. That's cool if they can dodge that effectively. That is impressive. Can't see this guy's life bar, though, for whatever reason. There it is. Okay. They haven't even busted through our shields yet. We've already taken out half of his life. So this is how powerful our cruises are compared to theirs. About to bust through our shields. He's actually holding his own right now. Mainly because he can dodge our torpedoes. Good job, Bolarathi. This is this is a nice little fight. And their shields are recharging. Nice. Half of that torpedo salvo hit. That's not going to help. This is actually a bit of a more intense battle than I expected. Ooh, another torpedo salvo. Did a pretty good job. Another salvo of weaponry or two. Should end the battle. Will you stop leaving my view? Trying to keep an eye on you, buddy. They haven't actually got through my shields yet. There it goes. Battle over. That was pretty cool. That was a nice one-on-one -on -one battle. It was one-sided, but they held their own. Good for them. All right, so we have stopped that force. And it looks like they have some additional cruisers here um, that could potentially end me. So that ship at least took care of one cruiser while well, it had the chance. We might lose that ship now, though. Rhombus 2, uh, we're going to have you build, ah, let's see, how are you doing? You have room for more population, don't you? Let's go ahead and do some soil enrichment on you. All right, Saltator, you have a pollution problem, so we need to fix that sooner than later. Let's go ahead and build a toxic processor followed by a pollution cleanup. A fleet needs orders, okay. So now we can wipe out this fleet. We're going to pay them a visit. In, that's in orbit of Okabe Prime. Oh, it's actually a pretty balanced battle because they have a star base, of course. So tell you what. Let's take command of it. This will be one of the closer battles we fought. I'm going to have to take direct control of my ships and see if I can get them to knock out some of the enemy ships before we get too close to the star base. Oh, they have some defensive structures as well. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Don't do this. Don't do this. Thank you. All right, so we're going to turn off the battle AI so I have exact control. We're going to match speed. We're going to pause. And then we're going to fly everyone over here. Yeah. The Barathi fleet is being smart. They're hanging back. So I've got a couple of cruisers here and a couple of destroyers. Yeah, this is my... This is actually my main fleet. <laughs> I didn't think about the possibility of Okabe having a... Um, ah, there's that camera problem again. The devs have acknowledged that camera problem, by the way, guys, so they're working on it. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, I just I didn't think about the possibility of Okabe having a, a star base. Oh. Looks like we've managed to provoke the Bulrathi. Ah, damn. They've been hit with stasis fields. What the crap? What just happened? What? I don't... I don't... How did... I don't get it. I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Alright, well, um... Huh. Let's yeah, let's let's try that again. Did, did I hit a retreat button by accident or something? Is is that is that how that went down? I don't know. Let me I'm 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 really confused by what just happened. We'll, we'll try this battle one more time. Sorry, I I really have no idea how that happened. And is there a retreat button? Yeah, I guess there is a retreat button, so maybe I hit it unknowingly. Alright, so we are definitely going to go way over here. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Hopefully those torpedoes will do a lot of damage to that station. Nah, they just managed to hit its shields. Thankfully, we've managed to provoke the Bulrathi fleet, so we just need to get... Oh, I need to turn the AI off, don't I? The AI words. This is good. This is very good. We can now engage them out here, where we're much more likely to do a lot of damage to them quickly. Like this. Kill. Kill. Destroy. Yes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Excellent. Kill the big one. Kill the big one. That's the biggest threat. Take it out. It's one of their cruisers, and it is very rapidly getting cut down by my destroyers. Done. There it goes. Excellent. This is how we wanted it to happen. So we actually haven't lost a ship yet, because we were able to provoke the Bulrathi into coming out to see us. So now, I must have hit, I must have just clicked this without seeing it. Just, I must have hit it. You guys probably saw me, but I didn't see it. I didn't see myself clicking it, so, sorry. Alright, we're going to just try and come at these vessels. These stations, one at a time. They're actually already firing on me, so I'm going to do it. Come on. Take it out. It is doing damage. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Hurry up. Shields are still up. Damn! How powerful is this station? It's putting up a damn good fight. Alright, it's gone now. Done. Done. All right, let's take out the star base now. We'll just watch its life meters go down. A couple of torpedo salvos should do it. The missiles are helping as well, but the torpedoes are especially effective because no point defense can stop them. All right, shields are almost gone. All right, let's, all right, good. Oh, actually point defense can stop the torpedoes. Learn something new. Cruisers are actually pretty hurt. What are they doing? Are they doing some kind of force retreat? That's not good. I think my... Yeah, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Somehow they retreated on their own. 
which is fine as long as I don't lose them. But now it's saying I don't have those two ships. That was nice. That seemed like a more effective explosion than I've seen in the past. We just need our remaining ships to do a good job of taking out this missile platform. Which they are doing, thankfully. Point defense, point defense. Work your magic, please. Thank you. Yeah, so this missile platform actually is not even affecting my, uh, my guys. Nice. Almost gone. Pretty straightforward battle here. Point defense is taking care of the missiles, so there's not doing any damage. I love it. And gone. Alright, so let's see what happened there with those two cruisers. Yeah, we still have them. I, I just don't know what happened there. Alright, we're gonna... Alright, so they did survive. They have several buildings. I'm just gonna have you guys guard. Alright, we have a colony ship here at Saltator. So let's go ahead and send him to Fascia 2. Another fleet needs orders. Let's see which one. Hey, another colony ship. <laughs> Fancy that. We're going to go ahead and send you to Virgil. But which Virgil planet is the question. Looks like the best one is Virgil 2. So go there. This load time is killing me. Alright, the scout... Uh, nothing too much going on here. Oh yeah, I haven't investigated these anomalies, have I? Hey, we found the humans. Greetings, friend. What's up, John Delancey? I am Delancy? the of the human republic. May the cooperation between our races be ever fruitful. Oh no, it's not going to be at all. Transmission start. Oh hey. This is the overseer of the Meklar Convite. Contacting unknown naturally occurring life form. Com frequency lock. Awesome. So we met both of my previously played races in Master of Orion in one turn. Colony ship has arrived at Magi Prime. That's good. Let me... send this guy to Phantos 2. We need to explore the Terray system, don't I? Don't we, rather? <laughs> Man, there's just so many awesome planets all around here. I just don't know what to do. Okay, I will go ahead and cut this episode here because that handling that battle situation took longer than expected and I'm just enthralled with all these planets that I have to colonize. So we're going to keep colonizing them in the next episode and we're also going to start building up militarily and see about, and see about just wiping out the Bulrathi because I think, if I'm not mistaken, they might kind of have a corner over here like we do and if they do, um, I'm going to try and seal it off and then we'll just have an awesome area that's just kind of ours that no one else has access to. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Terrible Terrans every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT-4 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.